Dunn's car with just pounding for thousands and thousands of hours. The race is on to unlock the riddles of the Sphinx. There have been thousands of Sphinxes throughout history. But this Sphinx, the Great Sphinx, is one of the very first and is by far the largest ever built. Well, this was an age of experimentation. The Sphinx is an experiment. It was something new, something highly unusual. So where did the idea of putting a human head on a lion's body come from? The Bible. All right, as you can see. The head is on top of the temple as the body represents a temple as it is written in the Bible. And the lion As Jesus said, I am the I am the the chief cornerstone. Oh, I am the I am the cornerstone that the builders rejected. Cornerstone. Corner of a cube. As Jesus said, I'll rebuild my father's temple in three and a half days. <clears throat> Egyptian civilization 3000 BC As these are pointing up the pyramids are in the ground are the bad ones they are pointing down Abydos is also a city of the dead Crimea but without pyramids Here Egypt's founding pharaohs are buried beneath the desert sands in a complex of mud brick tombs And these ones too Today Dreyer is investigating Not all of them. those tombs. The tomb consists of three huge chambers underneath that mound over there. And in front of it, there are three rows of subsidiary burials, altogether 35. The main chamber was plundered in ancient times and the royal body stolen. But inscriptions found inside reveal a name, Pharaoh Aha. The very uh -huh. of Egypt's first dynasty. Played a joke on you. As Pharaoh, Aha wielded absolute power. Evil Pharaoh. The Abydos excavation reveals evidence of human sacrifice. The skeletons of 35 healthy adults, most under the age of 20, all part of a mass burial. Even at that remote time, that is not a natural age of death. And so we may conclude they were killed to follow the king in his afterlife, to serve him there in eternity. The pharaoh and his worldly goods are buried at one end of the complex, followed by the 35 victims of human sacrifice in smaller tombs. And in the last tomb, are even more bones. They do that so when they're reborn, they have them for bond servants. Are not human. For, for servants. They were compared with modern skeletons. By sifting, Which is, and it is. Bones, especially bones of lions. That was quite a surprise. Several lions died and were buried at the same time as the young adults. Evidence that they too were sacrificed. Say. Bad aha, bad aha. <laughs> but why were these lions entombed along with the pharaoh? The king identifies himself with the lion to show his power, to express his power. Dreyer's excavations reveal that Egypt's first pharaohs wielded enormous power, enough to command the ritual of dozens of people. 
the lion sacrifices provide the first clue to the meaning of the Sphinx's form. Remember, there's people there before the Egyptians. As the Sphinx is the lion. Is more than just a lion. It's also part human. It's called Yahweh. The Egyptians depict their gods as part animal, part human. But usually those gods have animal heads. Temple of the dog. There's the lions. The Sphinx is just the opposite. When you put the human head on the lion. Or the body, black horse. And so it is an image of power under control. But whose power and control? God. The human head is actually wearing a scarf called the Nemes. It's a headdress. And only the pharaohs wore the Nemes headdress. So the Sphinx is both a god. They didn't have a snake on their head, though. And when it came to symbolizing the power of the pharaoh, the bigger, the better. Over the next 500 years, the pharaoh's tombs got more and more massive. From underground burial chambers to above ground tombs, and from stepped pyramids Five. to the great pyramids of Giza. Temple of the but body, man. Of Build your temple up. Slowly, the great sphinx has no precedent was the first time in the history of Egypt that they created sculpture at this scale. So how was the Sphinx created? They're showing us what the Earth looks like. Look Believe it or not. Paws, it appears to be built with thousands of blocks. Was it constructed like the pyramids? By stacking blocks of stone. It is a pyramid. But a closer look reveals that its upper body and head are carved out of one huge rock. Does that mean it was carved like Mount Rushmore? Ah, they're trying to copy it. Clues lie in the stone of the Sphinx and the rock around it. If you're investigating how the Sphinx was built, the existing drawings were about as useful as if you were trying to build a 50-story skyscraper using just a satellite snapshot of its roof. That's how little was known about the Sphinx. To the Sphinx the controls the water of life, closer. river of life. So I spent five years as there are pipes underneath it, all over the place. Scale. Look it up yourself. This was my office, and I would take my break here and a cup of Nescafe. Laner's mapping gave him an intimate knowledge of the Sphinx, its stone, and the Giza Plateau. To begin with, the Sphinx is made of limestone. Here's Close tail. inspection of the limestone reveals how it was formed. You see a pattern that looks kind of like a brain coral, or almost like a sponge. All the limestone at Giza, including the body of the Sphinx, was once the floor of a sea. It was a seabed. So you have frozen into the stone various elements of seafloor life. Millions of years ago, the, the Giza three kings was underwater. Sea creatures and plants died, falling to the bottom. There was water there. Because the pyramids and Khufu's temple, Ezekiel's temple, that have the crosses. I'll show on part two. Limestone is formed from the soft sea bottom and some from hard. Its original smooth surface has been eaten away by over 4,000 years of wind, water, and sand. Here on the right side of the Sphinx chest, we can see how weathering has put the softer layers into deep recesses while the harder layers protrude. To Laner, this weathering pattern is another important clue as to how the Sphinx was built. Recent restorations obscure this pattern. Each had four phases. But photographs from the 1920s clearly Eagle. show... Eagle. Bull. 
on both the bottom and the sphinx and, and a lion. The of what is known as the sphinx ditch. The pattern acts like a fingerprint. And when Laner compares the sphinx's body with the side of the sphinx ditch, it's Tell a you right now. match. Right there is the keyhole. Boom. Welcome to the stadium. Lander identifies more of that rock directly in front of the Sphinx's paws in the ruins of a building known as the Sphinx Temple. Here comes the 24 elders. On the huge stone blocks that were once the walls of the Sphinx Temple, he discovers those same familiar on the Sphinx. Because you can see that the layers run continuously from one block to later about how the Sphinx was built. The Egyptians quarried a horseshoe shaped ditch leaving a core that left a big block from which they carved the Sphinx itself. They moved the stone, sometimes in blocks of a hundred tons, down to the lower terrace for fabricating the walls of the Sphinx temple. That's one big piece of stone right there. It's layered. So the starting point for the Sphinx must have been a huge rock sticking out of the surface of the Giza Plain. Wrong. Workers cut a trench around it, quarrying the stone out from the ditch in huge blocks. They hauled off those blocks to build the nearby space. All right, Himalayas. This is what they don't want you to know. There's a temple up there on the highest peak. And it looks like the Sphinx. Hey guys, Tyler here with the Fear Team. Uh, we have some uh, new video and images uh, courtesy of our friends over at the Finding UFO YouTube channel. The UFOs. Uh, post down in the video description. And as you're seeing the footage here, uh, a mysterious hole in the side of a mountain uh, completely out of the reach of any uh, nearby human civilization uh, and looks to be uh, in a spot that seems shaped like the Sphinx. Have, uh, unless you are a world class uh, mountain climber, uh, Everest type. Uh, so we have this dark area on uh, Google Maps, uh, which is in the Himalaya Mountains, and uh, it's actually along the highest ridge on the mountain. Here's the tail that goes around in the back. That are being, uh, tail goes around, it's flat all the way across. Here. You never heard of the, the past, uh, remember Ace Ventura when they go up to the temple? Part two. People in their UFOs, dude. The only, the only UFOs there are disc of righteousness and the suns of light. As it is written in the book of John. Cycle through the Google Earth images of the side of this mountain. You can't the they erase it. Uh, it seems that this hole has just uh, just sort of appeared. And as you're seeing in these images here from back in the early 2000s, <clears throat> this black spot, uh, this hole uh, or entrance uh, doesn't exist on Google Earth. Uh, and in 2015 is when it began to appear. Now, uh, it very well possibly could be a secret government installation. Um, this is not oh, yeah. the first time that these uh, massive uh, caverns um, have been found on Google Earth. I recall a few years ago, another uh, secret base was found in the side of a mountain, which... Uh, Alright, now let me show you. ...that it's either a secret government uh, and looks to be uh, out of the reach of uh, any uh, nearby... As you can see right here. See the squares? See the arm? You can see the feet down here. Say, like Pyramid Me. 
But look, here's the head. So you see the feet down below. Alright. Bear with me. Then, sculptors carved the giant rock remaining in the center into the shape of the Sphinx. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Damn. Shape of human civilization, uh, and looks to be uh, in a spot that is basically unattainable. Um, <laughs> Here's the flat back back here. What everyone used to say, even the Russians and the and the Nazis even went looking for this temple. They can't even find it because it just appears. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> mhm. Mm See, here's this piece. And there'll be like a little step right here. Boom. There it is. And here's the step. Here's the leg. Unless you are a Here's the tail that goes all the way around. World class uh, mountain climber, uh, Everest type. Uh, so we have this dark area on uh, Google Maps. What do you think uh, built this and stuff? It's actually along the you guys believe in aliens? So the, uh, There's something the way more than aliens. Being, uh, it's called God. Yahweh. Yahweh's way. Yahweh. All carved out exactly the same. It's all blurred out. UFOs, dude. They go through water, dude. They don't care about. And it's in, and it's in the middle of the Himalayas. Look at. It. Say it out loud. Him. A uh, lay. They lay him. Himalaya. Himalayas. They lay him. Let's see where it's at. Right in the middle of the Himalayas, with, ar with arms wide open. Bam! <laughs> there it is. What do they call it? Sh uh, Shaba? Uh, is that the I can't remember what they call it. Temple of the Body. Alright, this is part one of three. Next, I'll show you uh, the crosses and the three crosses that are right next to it. And in the winnowing fork of Jesus' temple. <laughs> 